Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. Today and every day I try and show a different part of San Giovanni Rotondo. And sometimes I travel outside, maybe to uh, a city in Europe, maybe a city in America, someplace different in the world that is connected with Padre Pio. Well, I hope today that you will sit back, enjoy, and watch Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Well, of course, you know, we visit this area many, many times on Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Uh, it is the garden just outside the friary, and it is a place that is um, always welcoming and always calm, and it's the place where Fra Fidele always does the flowers. Well, being now January, uh, I wanted to show you what the garden looks like even with the preparation for spring, the cutting of the hedges and the cleaning of the area. So let's start here where I know you people have seen many times across the palm tree. Right there in the center. The beautiful stonework down below. And as we walk to the house with the white doves. Recently they had some visitors. They had two roosters staying. But uh, there are two doves, our friends. Uh, one of them is up on the top there. I don't know if you can see. And the other just sits and looks around. Now, here again, here's the table where I like to have my coffee, even in the winter, on a nice day. And the beautiful statue of St. Francis. Always beautiful to come here to say a prayer in front of the statue of St. Francis. It is a, just really a very special place. Now, as we see, the hedges have been cut. And I don't think in the three years uh, that I've been doing Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo that we've ever seen the hedges cut so severely. So this is, for you that are gardeners, you know this, that sometimes we cut all the way back for better growth. So this is what it looks like. Usually these are nice and full and green. Uh, they are flowering shrubs and uh, they have a little walkway that leads down. You can see here you just walk down the little cement walk, the gray stones, the bricks, and it comes to here and it goes into this area here. Now before uh, we used to keep the trash barrels in the area to the right on the path and this where the air conditioner is was really always a very nice private little place. It was really secluded. The hedges were high. You can see of course on this side the evergreens and the ivy that really block um, any viewing from the public. And it was really a nice little place to come and sit. And I imagine it still is. It will be when the foliage comes back again. Now there's a little area that Farfadela has for one of the animals. Uh, sometimes the cats come and visit here. And he feeds them and he has a little house for them if they have to uh, be in uh, shelter during the snow or the rain or the very cold weather. And of course that looks down to the garden. The garden that was made and designed for when the Pope came. Now we're going to head back up and we'll go down to the area where the bocce court is. And oh, before I go, let me just show you some of the flowers. Basically they're spent, but uh, we'll get a closer look at some of the parts that uh, have some of the flowers left from the spring and summer.
Well, here we are. You've seen these in full bloom. This is uh, really where Fra Fideli makes his artistry. Always beautiful different color flowers, geraniums, pansies, uh, azalea, all using these pots. Uh, here we have a little bit of color left. That must be a very hardy plant. It, it reminds me of something of what they call a um, African violet. And then, of course, going up the tree, the palm tree, he's got half of the parts, the half parts, and you can see still some of the geranium are there. They're still alive, but they're having a little bit of trouble. Here, uh, they are spent, but those are the mums, the uh, chrysanthemums. There's still a little bit of green, but I doubt very much that they will um, continue to flower. I think they are done. And then we go back, we look at the beautiful olive branches here. You see he has them in the pots. And these are olive trees. So those are just the beginning of a young, young olive tree. Of course now looking up to the grape um, vines there. Um, uh, no, no green there left, but uh, we can clearly see the window where Padre Pio lived for about 10 years. Uh, it has the white cross, and of course at night uh, that is lit, and you can see it uh, from here, the garden, very clearly. And as we make our way up, if we look to the left, we will be able to see uh, the other room, the room where Padre Pio lived for the 40 years, and the room where he died. Uh, you can see the black cross on the actual side of the building above his window and at night again there is a white cross that is lit. As we just stroll along the walk here we see there are some hardy flowers here. Vibrant red there. Uh, this one here I think must have been a white one. The flower itself has um, been spent but the green is nice and green and some beautiful color there with the pink uh, a dark red and then really like a violet and this little cutting area here uh, they have the beautiful magnolia tree uh, they have the evergreen tree and you can even see here right in front of me this is a magnolia you see the moss growing up there we go and the next wall has, again, these very healthy flowers. Uh, a violet, a white now this time, and a, a deep red. And fading a little bit, but the green, nice and nice and hardy. There again is a, a violet color. And this one here, well, maybe it's getting a little bit much of the cold wind, and so it, it's not as healthy as the others. Now we look over here, and we see down into the garden again, the garden where the original bocce court is, and uh, the garden that uh, leads through and out to the piazza of the Church of St. Pio. Now here we are underneath the shade of the beautiful trees here, three big beautiful trees, and uh, this is always a great place in the summer when it's hot. Uh, the Padres come and sit on the wall like they did years ago. And I know many times you've seen on Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo that um, where the bocce court is and the seat where Padre Pio sat. And this was also very, uh, very much liked by Gili, the friend of Padre Pio, the famous opera singer. And uh, I do this all the time. Mama, da 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 da, mama. The man who made the song famous, Gili, opera, opera singer, was a grand friend of Padre Pio's. And uh, they would come here in the garden and sit, and Julie would sing Mama, and Padre Pio would cry because he loved our blessed mother, and he loved his own mother. Here is the bocce court, and uh, of course the frame is um, covered. Uh, it's, it's getting more and more each year, but uh, that's jasmine, the jasmine vine. And in the summer, when the weather is good, the smell of the jasmine uh, really permeates the air. It's really like very, very beautiful. And in the summer, it's just a, a wonderful place. Spring, summer, and even into the late fall when the jasmine flower 
blossoms, it just fills the air with that uh, sweet smell, that perfume of the jasmine. And Padre Peel used to watch the Padres as they played bocce. We've come down a few stairs and we've walked in here, of course, is the elevator that leads to a tunnel into the Church of St. Peel. So during inclement weather, the Padres can use this and get into the church. Now, as we walk, you can even hear uh, the, my footsteps on the crushed stone. This whole area before uh, the Pope came was really just rocks and trees here and there, bushes overgrown, but they made this beautiful garden uh, for when Pope Benedict visited San Giovanni Rotondo. Now it's a wonderful place to come and sit any time of year, but of course in the nice weather this is really when it becomes uh, very much used. And here is a shrine for St. Michael Archangel. And remember uh, Monte Sant'Angelo, where St. Michael appeared, is only about 30 minutes from San Giovanni Rotondo. And many people who visit San Giovanni also visit Monte Sant'Angelo, where St. Michael appeared three, on three separate occasions. The beautiful full plants with the beautiful aromas, the rosemary that they have. Uh, look at the beautiful lamp here. At night it's lit, it's very, very nice. And even the, uh, well, I wouldn't say uh, quite uh, what they call topiary, but there are trimmings. And so they make the three different balls on the uh, Italian, uh, that's an evergreen. And there's a few more as it leads down to the wall and out through a gate to the back of the Church of St. Peel. Well, I'm just going to go back up and we'll close at this beautiful saying that Fra Fidele has hanging on a tree just outside the Friary of Santa Maria della Grazia. What a perfect place to end the visit to the garden here, just behind the Friary of Santa Maria della Grazia, a place where Padre Pio often spent time praying, meditating, and talking with his fellow brothers and his friends. Uh, this was made by Prophet Daly, and you know he tends the garden. And the saying goes like this, he wrote this, where there is flowers, there is the heart. Where there is the heart, there is love. And where there is love, there is life. What a very beautiful saying. Well, I hope you enjoyed our winter visit to the garden here at Santa Maria della Grazia. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, each day and each time we close Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, I always like to pray the Hail Mary, the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much. And you know, he knew that by going to our Blessed Mother, by asking for her intercession, that it was very difficult for Jesus to deny his mother anything. Please join me now for your intentions. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Peel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You know, you can always contact us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye.